So I've been winding a few people up on Instagram, and this is what I bought. It's an Aladdin mantle lamp, model number 23. Lovely and shiny. Okay, probably probably a bit too much for it, but whatever. I'll just uh, set the uh, mantle off, which I'll stick in here. And I'm ready to light it for the first time since I got the mantle. So that's basically lights in the same manner as my uh, number 37 heater. Just raise the wick up a little. You see it's a round wick. Just add a fire. Eventually gets going. So I don't smoke, and I wish the air wouldn't blow through the house like that, making knocking noises. Uh, what's this doing now? Very bloody carefully stick this over the top. Lock it on. And turn the wick up a bit. Leave it for a bit to uh, warm up first. Already the mantle's glowing. But I'll come back in about 10 minutes. Well, it's been over 10 minutes now because I just found out I've missed an appointment for something important, but whatever. Um, I can turn it up now, but first off. I noticed there was a split on the mantle before it was uh, burnt, and it seems to have kind of opened up. So, already I need a new mantle. Which kind of sucks, but there you go. Apparently the mantle's very old, so I'll be careful of them. So, anyway, turn it up time. Just gotta be careful of uh, dark spots. Like that one there, which you can't really see on the camera. Which is about there. I think that's just because the uh, wick's still somewhat uneven. I need to get a wick trimmer for it. But that is quite a beautiful light. And you don't see it on camera, but it is quite a, a greenish hue. And I've stick this over the top. That is one beautiful lamp. I like it. Just gotta be careful moving it about because, again, delicate mantles and all. And later on, I'll, uh, when it's dark, I'll compare it to uh, my cheap Chinese hurricane lantern, or storm lantern, whatever you want to call it. And both of them are running on that, pre-packed paraffin, which is kerosene, just to prevent confusion of those across the pond. But anyway, I'll film some more a bit later. Now, uh, because I've got a problem with the uh, mantle already, I've been thinking of experimenting using a generic uh, hanging mantle that you can get for uh, basically Coleman lamps or Tilly lamps and gas mantle lamps and all that. And this is a mantle that I got, actually got with the lamp, and yes, it's still lit. Uh, I was wondering if I could possibly suspend that from there and try and wrap it around there. 
and yes this is going to be quite big but these actually shrink quite a lot but yeah I mean, you know, it's actually only tied up inside there so I can actually undo that knot and spread it out so it's open it to both ends but yes experimentation time whether or not that works I want a clue I'm going to try uh, burning it off and preparing it for uh, use in a, a lamp but well, who knows yeah I should have filmed that lovely bit of flame still hot <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah extremely delicate now so Yeah, just wait for my lamp to cool down because I just put it out. Um, I highly doubt it'll work, but you know, experimentation is all part of trial and error. Well, I can definitely say no to that experiment because I don't think there's enough airflow around the uh, outside of the mantle to actually work because I turn it up and that's all I get. So, no, you can't use a generic mantle on uh, an Aladdin lamp. Oh well. Just means I've got to spend another 15 quid on another mantle. <laughs> After I've carefully extracted this mantle, you can see the uh, big hole there. Because that little that little bit there is completely separated in like a big U shape. Bit of a bugger, but this was an old style mantle. It's like the new ones made in the Philippines, whereas these ones made with radioactive materials. And you can tell by the age of the box as well, because. Yeah, made in England a long time ago. You don't make things in this country anymore. So. Yeah, don't buy vintage wigs, buy modern ones. And by wigs, I mean mantles. It'll still work, but it just means I've got a big hole, which causes the flame to be a bit imbalanced. <laughs>